Hey you guys, welcome to part two of my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. Today we are going to talk about all things fashion, some kids fashion, a couple home items. And if you wanted to see part one, which is all of the beauty and fragrance stuff, I will leave a link for it down below in the description. You can check it out after this video. But I do wanna mention that I may have a part three coming because I had to order quite a few items from the Nordstrom website. They didn't have my sizes in store. So once I get all those items, I may film a quick part three, but Today is kind of a little bit of what I have or what I picked up in the store. So if you want to see what fashion items I grabbed, keep on watching. Okay, first I'll start with kids fashion. Now I only have a daughter, so that is the fashion we are going to be talking about today is little girls fashion. And my daughter is super girly, right? Like she lives in tutus and dresses and pink and glitter and sparkly stuff. Like that is her style. She's girly through and through, just like her mama. And when we took her shopping, you guys, <laughs> she picked out stuff. It's cute, but it is totally not her style. And she really went out of the box with items that she picked up. I don't know if you've ever taken your kids clothes shopping or something and they say, oh, I want to get this. I love this. And you look at them like, what? You do? That was our shopping trip. So first item that we have are these super cute combat boots. I actually really, really like these. I was kind of surprised when she picked them out because like I said, all of her shoes are glittery. So these were a little bit of a shocker to me, but I think they'd be really cute with some black leggings and maybe like a sweater or um, she has a leather jacket that would be really cute. But I thought these were super adorable and I'm not sure on prices, but I'll leave links to everything down in the description. I think these were like 39 or 44 dollars there were two she got a couple pairs of boots and um one pair was 39 and the other pair was 44 so either way they were around 40 dollars, which i thought was a really good deal next pair of boots she picked out are these super cute gucci inspired boots like i said these were not really something i thought she would pick out because a lot of her shoes are very colorful but they do have the gems on them so that is totally her style and this was the other pair of boots she got so i'm thinking that these were the ones that were 39 and those were 44 um but either way super cute and the last pair of boots that we got her which we do get her these every single year are a pair of uggs every year we get her you know a different pair of uggs these ones she really liked because they had the pink glitter on the back if your girls love uggs every year like my daughter does um definitely see if you can score some at the nordstrom anniversary sale these were on sale for only 84 dollars, which i think retail it was like 130 150 something like that so really really good deal and for her shoes we did size up in everything only because i wanted them a little bit bigger so that way once winter came she can grow into them and they will fit her at that time versus them fitting her now the other item she grabbed are these super cute fuzzy socks i love them they are so soft perfect for winter and these were on sale for only seven bucks so really good deal especially because for some reason socks are so dang expensive have you ever gone to buy a pair of socks or like a pack of socks and it's like 25 bucks and you're like what yeah i thought these were a great deal for seven dollars all right so clothing she picked out quite a few pieces of clothing <laughs> i laugh because this top is just not at all what i expected from her but it is like this army green kind of distressed looking top and it is it's like a crop top type of shirt and just the color the color is not her at all but she loves it i know she's gonna rock it so i can't wait to see her style this piece um, because she loves to pick out her own clothes and style herself so the next shirt we got was, it's actually really, really cute. It's leopard print. It's stretchy. It's long sleeve. And it has this really cute kind of bow at the bottom. 
And this shirt is very, very soft. I really, really loved this shirt when she picked it out. And it is quite thin. So in the winter time, this is something that you would definitely have to put a sweater on top of or a vest, something like that, because it is pretty thin. But I thought it was very, very cute. The next top, it is exactly the same as that first kind of dark green one. But this one was a yellow, pink, and orange tie-dye, same crop top, same brand. These, let's see, these were on sale for like 11 bucks um, at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which I thought was a really good deal. The next top is, it's really cute. I'm just, I'm surprised she picked it. It is this really cute teal top and it says the parts of a microscope and it goes and labels all of the parts, which is super cute. And then the back of it says, the telescope makes the world smaller. It is only the microscope that makes it larger. I thought that was a really, really cute thing. And um, she is into science, but she's not this into science, but I love this shirt. I thought it was really cute and perfect for school. And this last shirt is so adorable. It's a graphic tee. It's a little band tee. It's an ACDC black ice shirt and it's got a little knot right there. So cute. I think this will look perfect with her leather boots that have the chains on them. I think this will be a really cute outfit with black leggings. So I'm excited to see her wear this piece. And then I had to order a few more items for her with my order because they didn't have her size. So I'll show you guys those at a later date. But moving on, I can't remember if I showed this in my beauty um, video or not, but I ordered or I got um, the slip pillowcases. These are a size queen and I did pick up the white color and you do get two in a pack. Um, this side is empty because as soon as I got home, I put one on my bed. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did mention it in my beauty video, but it's a home item. So I thought I'd throw it in here again, I guess. Um, I do have the Tempur-Pedic memory foam pillows that are kind of very structured and the zipper opening on this is not as wide as the pillowcase so when i put in my pillow it was a little bit snug going in but once the pillow was actually inside there was plenty of room the um pillowcase wasn't tight or too stretched around like it wasn't a tight fit so if you have tempurpedic pillows um you should be good it's a little tight going through the zipper but once you get your pillow through the zipper, you're, it's fine. But I'm really excited for these. I love these pillowcases. The next item I picked up are these really pretty hoop earrings and they have a pearl heart on them. If you can see, they keep like moving, but they're really, really pretty. And these were on sale for I want to say $24. They weren't much. They're very cute. And what's nice is if you wanted to wear just the gold hoop part, you can do that as well. The little pearl heart does come off. So I really like that they're versatile. It's kind of like two, um, two earrings in one. So that is really, really fun. The other pair of earrings I got, I was actually stuck between two sizes. So I had picked these up. These are the Cubic Zirconia um, 8 karat diamond earrings. And at the Nordstrom sale, they had a bunch of sizes, anywhere from a half a carat all the way up to 8 carats. And I was really stuck between the 6 and 8 carat, but I decided to splurge and do the 8 carat. I think they're just so beautiful. They're so sparkly in person. And... I wear studs every single day, so I'm just looking for new ones to replace those. And these were on sale for, I think, for $33. It was such a good deal, so these were a great, great buy. The next item I got was kind of, there's a story. Okay, so first up, it is this pair of Fendi glasses, and I don't know if you can see but the Fendi logo is all over the lenses, which is super fun. And when you look through the glasses, you actually don't see a difference. Like you don't see any part of the logo. So that is 
something I really, really love. So when I first messaged my SA Manny and I put these on my wish list, I just wanted to see them in person. I really liked how they looked online, but I was kind of on the fence because they were on sale for $2.57. So I wasn't sure if I really wanted to spend the money, even though it was a really good deal. So I was kind of on the fence and I get to my Nordstrom store and Manny tells me like, hey, sorry, we don't have the glasses. And I saw that they sold out online. So I was like, okay, no worries. It wasn't meant to be. So after I met with him, I went shopping and I come to the sunglass place and I see that they have two on the shelf. So I grabbed one and I really liked how they looked and they felt, I'll try them on for you guys. They are oversized aviators. I just think they're so cute. I love them and I think they're gonna be perfect for fall. And I love the little touch of the Fendi logo. It just makes it a little different. So I grabbed a pair and I went to Manny and I said, hey, I'm on the fence about these. Can you just hold them for me? And he's like, where did you find these? And I said, where the sunglasses are? And he had told me that he looked it up in their inventory and it showed that they had a quantity of zero, meaning they didn't have them. So to find a pair was really lucky. So I did my shopping and when I checked out, they had to go back to the sunglass place because the sunglass sensor lock thing was a specific shape and they couldn't unlock it at their register. And so he took them over there to get the sensor taken off. And the person working over there was like, where did you get these glasses? And Manny was like, uh, they were on reserve. And he was like, the sunglass person was like, oh, okay, yeah, because we aren't even supposed to have these in the store. And Manny was like, oh yeah, they were on reserve. Like he tried to play it off. But it was funny because everyone in the store knew that they weren't supposed to have these glasses. And so I randomly happened to find them and then I checked online, they were sold out. So I decided to get them and I'm very happy I did because they are really, really fun. I know that was a really long story, but it was just kind of like one of those instances where it was meant to be. Um, moving on to shoes. So I got, you guys, I blacked out and got so many pairs of shoes. Like it's ridiculous. Like I even have five more pairs coming and I have five sitting here. So there's a lot of shoes. But first up are these super cute Steve Madden booties and they are in a cognate um, brown color suede. I love them. They look so adorable. And then they have the metal chain detailing. And if you order them, they do kind of come like this. And then the chain is all wrapped up. So you just unwrap it and then flip it over. Boom. There's your shoe. Super cute. So I grabbed those. And then I also had to grab them in black because I thought they were perfect for um fall and winter and just because of the length that this video may be i'm not going to try any of the clothing pieces on or the shoes but definitely go follow me over on like to know it because i will be posting all of my nordstrom fashion pieces over there i'll be putting together some various outfits with the shoes and the clothing items that i purchased so you guys can see different ways to style different pieces so make sure you go follow me over there because i post a ton of content over there i feel like i post more on like to know it than i do instagram sometimes but i'm trying to balance myself out but if you are wanting to see how to style some of these pieces or what they look like on definitely go follow me over on like to know it and then the other pair of shoes i got are these really gorgeous suede tan i don't, I don't even know they're very neutral so like a beige tan these are steve madden as well and i just love these these are so comfortable all of these shoes i did purchase them in my true size which is a size eight and they fit me perfectly um, i think if you wanted to wear them with like a no-show sock, something that's very thin, you could totally do that. Otherwise, if you plan to wear these with a heavier sock, you may want to size up a half size just in case, but these I love and I cannot wait to pair these with denim this fall. Um, my next pair of boots, these are actual boots boots, but 
These are the Tava boots and they look like this, suede again, absolutely stunning. And then they are over the knee boots. I will say one thing about these boots. These boots are for skinny calf, skinny knee girls. And I don't mean that in a bad way. They, the opening up top is just so narrow and even through the calf area right here this boot is just very very narrow so if you are a wide calf person or you have wider thighs I don't think they are going to fit I don't consider myself to have skinny calves um I would say but not wide either like I'm probably more on the skinnier side um, and these are still like, it's like pulling up skin. Like they are skin tight on me. Really cute once you get them on. Really comfortable. They stay up really well. But just keep that in mind if you want to look at these. If you have wider calves, I don't think they will fit, unfortunately. But follow me on Like to Know It because I have really cute boots that I think are really flattering for everybody. And they're basically this same boot same color they also come in black but they do have a wider opening so i think that they are perfect for those that have wider calves or a wider knee area so go follow me on there um because they are just so so cute and then the next boot i got are these really gorgeous suede boots and again another pointed toe low heel boot these are again over the knee boots. I will say these are a lot wider than the previous boots. So I think if you have wider calves, you should be okay. Um, but you obviously are gonna wanna try them on. Um, but these are really flattering. And I think if you paired them with a sweater dress or something like that, they would just be so, so cute. Again, all of these pieces I will show outfits with on like to know it so go follow me over there and then moving on to a home item is none other than a must-have for every nordstrom anniversary sale and that is a barefoot dreams blanket i buy these every single year i'm obsessed and this year i decided to go with the white and beige uh, leopard print I know that last year they had leopard print ones and they were so hot. They were gone the first day. Like they sold out so fast. And this year they brought the leopard print back, which I love, but they brought it back in like six different colors, which is even better. So I picked this one up and I'm so happy I did because if you've been following me for a while, you know, I'm a cozy girl. Like I love my cozy shit. Like Perfect. If you've never had a Barefoot Dreams item, I'm so sorry. You need to invest in one because it will change your life. And then speaking of Barefoot Dreams, the first fashion piece I'm going to show you is the set I'm wearing today. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't see this set at first on the Nordstrom website. I just happened to be walking by the Nordstrom um, or the Nordstrom, the Barefoot Dreams clothing rack and saw this and it totally caught my attention and there was one left in my size kind of and I grabbed it and I'm so glad I did so this set right here is very similar it's actually the same material that a barefoot dreams cardigan is made out of very cozy but yet very thin so you don't get too hot but you stay cozy you know um, and I love this. It is so, so comfortable. I'll stand up so you can see it a little bit. And here's what the bottom looks like and the sweatpants. They are just, they're not joggers because, well, maybe they are supposed to be joggers and I'm just short. But um, you can see that like they're kind of looser at the bottom. So when I'm standing, it kind of looks like genie pants on me. So I just call them genie pants. I don't really know if that's a thing, but that's what I call them. But this set, okay, so I am normally a medium, but they didn't have medium. So 
With loungewear, I'm okay sizing up because I like the looser fit. I like to be comfy and I don't like my loungewear fitted, you know? So I got in a size large and even though it is large, it's comfortable on me. Like, and the pants still fit perfectly. It's not too big where my pants are falling down. Um, they actually fit perfect in the waist. Um, they're just looser in the thighs and around the ankle, which I'm okay with. So this was definitely a last minute purchase for me. I love this. Since we got home Wednesday night, like this was the first thing I ripped open and threw on. I could not wait to change into this. It was calling my name and I'm so glad it did. And I ordered another one in another color because I'm so obsessed. So let me show you some of the other fashion items I picked up. So this item is something that I never, ever, ever buy. And it is a hat. I don't wear hats. I don't know. I do wear hats sometimes and then I get annoyed and I take them off because I don't know, my head feels claustrophobic. Is that a thing? I don't know. I may just be weird. But anyway, so I don't know why I decided to try on this hat and I did and it was so cute and it is one size, but it got smushed when we um, were coming home. So I have to kind of fix it. But I thought it was so cute. It's just very simple. And I thought maybe with like a dress in the fall and you can kind of style it up like that with some booties. I thought it would be really, really cute. I will say because it is one size, I don't know if I have a small head, but it's definitely big. So if somebody really sneezed hard, it would probably blow my hat off. But really, really cute. And then I saw that they had it in tan. My hair is getting all crazy. So I decided to get a tan one as well. Very, very cute. I thought this would be perfect with like a brown, um, a brown sweater dress and these boots. It would match perfectly. I have a few outfits that they could go with. Um, but first I just have to fix the broom a little bit. When I say that we smushed our bags coming home, like we smushed. It was so bad. My boyfriend couldn't even see out the rear window driving home because there were so many bags in the back seat and in the trunk and in the front seat. It was just, it was a journey. Let me tell you that. And the next item I got is, you guessed it, a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Now, I usually pick up the circle cardigans. I didn't, I put it back, that's what I thought because I have so many of them, but I saw that they have the long cardigan, which looks like this. So you can see it's got, um, it's long sleeve, it's got the pockets, it's a, it is a longer cardigan. Um, what I really loved about this cardigan was the color. It looks more baby blue on the screen, but in person it's almost white it's called like icy blue on the website but when you look at it in person you're like is it white or is it blue you you really can't tell it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous color and I've never seen a barefoot dreams cardigan in this color so I decided to pick it up and the set that I'm wearing now the color that I got it in when I ordered it online is actually in this color as well it's stunning in person but um so if you are wanting to try a barefoot dreams cardigan the circle cardigans are amazing i own probably eight or ten of them but i wanted a different style this time so i got the long cardigan and i love it it's gonna be so good and i got it in a size small so for me a size small Barefoot Dreams sweater is fitted. Like the arms are tight, it's very fitted. If I wanted it a little looser, I would buy my true size, which is a size medium. So all on preference, I do own both sizes in various um, styles. So, um, but this one I decided to pick up in a medium because if I'm wearing like a white tank top or something, I probably want it more fitted, but. So the next item I got is another Barefoot Dreams item and it is this pajama set and it's just super light material. It's very, very stretchy 
It's long sleeve. It's got um, just a simple pajama shirt, shorter in the front, longer in the back. And it does actually come, let me show you real quick. I got two of them. So the black one is going to be a gift for my mom, but I got it in blue for myself. But it does come with pants as well. Um, jogger genie pants. I think genie pants sounds cuter than joggers, but um, this is what I got. Super, super cute, super comfortable. Perfect really for all year round. It's very lightweight, so it's not something that you're going to get super hot in in the summer, um, but in the winter it is, you know, a little bit cozier. So those I grabbed, and then I also picked up this sweater. I have to um, defuzz it because it got next to some other fuzzy stuff. So this is the Free People Swim Too Deep cardigan or sweater. And one, it runs really large. So I would size down. Don't go too, too down. Um, but I'm normally medium. I picked it up in a small and um, I have it in this really pretty camel color which I think is going to be perfect with these boots or even these boots would be super cute as an outfit um so I got this one and I was really lucky that they even had it in the store because they had my size and then extra large and that was it and I know while I was there, I heard three or four people ask for if they had more in the back. They did not. It was already sold out online. So if this is an item that you are wanting or trying to get, definitely check in every day because about half the items that I picked up sold out. And then this morning I got a notification that like 30 items on my wish list which were all the items I picked up, were back in stock. So things do come back in stock. You just have to keep an eye out for it. And as soon as it comes in stock, buy it because it'll go so fast. Okay, so moving on to leggings. Every year I always stock up and get a pair of Spanx leggings. These are the faux leather ones. They're so comfortable. I just buy my normal size, which is a size medium, and they fit really, really well. And I just, I love them. They're so comfortable. And they have a little, you know, shaping to them, which we all can appreciate. But then while I was there, I saw, look how cute, baby Spanx. Well, I call them baby things, but these are spanks for my daughter. Same faux leather, so we can be twinning. And in case you're wondering, um, kids spanks or little girl spanks are not shapewear. They even say on the tag non shaping. So they're just normal leggings for the kids, but it's really cute when you can match your daughter and have a twinning moment. So I picked her up a pair and they're so adorable. I love it. So this will be fun. And then I decided to try another brand of faux leather leggings. These are the Commando 7 8 faux leather leggings. These were on sale for $65. And they look almost like the Sphinx ones. Um, so very much like that, super cute. These I got in my true size, which is a medium. Now I will say the mediums were like putting on a second pair of skin. They were very tight. They weren't uncomfortable though, but I just wanted to do a little comparison. So I picked one pair up in a size medium and one pair up in a large. I just wanna see if they, stretch out throughout the day or kind of like what the wear is because I've never used this brand and if they don't stretch then a large might be more comfortable throughout the day or if they do kind of break in a little bit then you may be good at medium I don't know so I'm going to test it out I'll let you guys know but I picked these up as well and then like I mentioned I ordered probably about 20 more clothing and shoe pieces so if you guys want to see like a part three and 
me do another video on what I ordered, let me know down in the comments or if you'd prefer for me to just show you on Instagram stories or something, let me know that too. I can do either way, whatever you guys prefer. Um, so that is my fashion home, kids fashion accessories haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't seen part one, which is beauty items, I will leave the link down in the description. Go check that out. I definitely had a blackout moment. That video is a lot longer because there's so many things. Um, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe as well. I would love to see your beautiful face again. And make sure you go follow me on Like to Know It so you can see some of these um, pieces being put together into outfits. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.